All right, this is the first set of florals we did. Uh, this piece is called Bloom. I just used a uh, drip method and overlap multicolors to get a good vibrant stand of, of three flowers and vases on a cart. Next, we have um, one that we've called hydrangea, which blue hydrangeas in the south is a staple among all the gardeners. And to bring them in as cut flowers in a vase is just, uh, just a summertime thing to do here in the south. And the third piece is just called flower, uh, an abstract of a sunflower. I used uh, yellows and purples and greens all right, this next series of florals um, are basically just an impressionistic version of roses. Uh, I did the pinks with silver vases, uh, very loose brush strokes, um, just simple colors, but just a nice pattern to bring out the uh, nice pink in a rose. The other red rose here in, in vases I did five cylindrical vases that just barely pop out, but just again, another abstract, just to bring a nice bright red rose color to the, uh, to the wall. So both pieces are very loose and very simple, but uh, very proud of both of these pieces as well. And I hope you enjoy them. Our last piece of florals is one entitled Blue Poppy. Um, our really only true blue flower that we have in, in, um, in our gardens. But I wanted to bring out the nice flower buds, the green stems, and just a nice splash of blue color to brighten up any room or office. And I think this type of picture is still a loose abstract, but has enough feeling to it that um, anyone will see it and immediately be attracted to it. So I hope you enjoy all the florals, and then we'll move on into some of the pets and the animal pictures that we've done next in the second series. Thank you. Okay, y'all, this next series on pets and animals, I want to introduce you to Sally. She's one of our family uh, pets that's been in the uh, family for quite a few years. Who doesn't love a weenie dog? Uh, I enjoy doing family pet pictures and this is one of my very favorites. Um, also, I painted a new bird with a pretty good attitude. Uh, sounds like he's king of the hill. Looks, um, looks very staunch and had a little bit of a wet tropical look to it as well. And I hope you enjoy both the flowers and the, the pets in this series. And I sure appreciate your time. Thank you.